You know the best thing I can hear on television? We interrupt this program. You know the worst thing I can hear? No one was hurt. Ah, shit, no one was hurt. I get depressed, you know, because I'm always rooting for a really high death toll. That's why I like the natural disasters, the big natural disasters that no one can control. Tornado, hurricane, earthquake. Tornadoes are great because there's hardly any warning, you know, so you can get in there and fucking nail some people in their sleep. <laughs> Another nice thing about a tornado, no one can find their cat. <laughs> Which I think is fucking interesting. I like all that shit. Tidal wave, volcano, monsoon, forest fire, avalanche, a famine, huh? Come on, you can't beat a fucking famine. The best thing about a famine is it lasts a long time, sometimes more than one generation. So you could wind up with a couple of million dead motherfuckers, you know? To me, you can never have too many dead people. That's why, you know what my favorite disaster would be? And Jesus, I pray for one of these. An asteroid. A big fucking asteroid. And I mean big, never mind this shit that destroyed the barn. I'm talking about a big hunk of rock the size of Minnesota. A flaming asteroid the size of Minnesota screaming through the atmosphere and smashing right into... Boom. Hey, Minnesota, huh? What the fuck? You can never have too many dead people. And I don't care who gets killed. I don't care who it is. As long as it's not me. Or someone close to me. Although to tell you the truth, if it's a nice big disaster, something good, the people close to me are on their own. Fuck them. It's not my responsibility. And I know what you're thinking. You're saying, well, that's all very cute and clever, George, but you'd feel a whole lot different if one of your loved ones ever got killed. And I think, no, I wouldn't.